Good morning, ma'am. I see you're early in the office, as usual. Well, you may say I'm pointing out the obvious, but I swear you've been coming in earlier and earlier, have you not? Well, when I was first hired, you came on time, but I'd never say too early. Then, all of a sudden, a few weeks later, you started showing up half an hour early, and it's just escalated from there, hasn't it? Oh, really? Ma'am, you do know it's 8 a.m., right? Not 9 a.m., which is usually when your workday starts. Why am I here? I swear I explained this to you several times, ma'am. Though, I guess I can't blame you. It is early, after all. It'd be natural if you're a bit sleepy. <sighs> Regardless, though, do I have to remind you that I'm your assistant? I've just found that getting here an hour early to make sure everything is prepared and your schedule is made for today just benefits me. I'm more than happy to take an hour out of my day just to have an entire workday as a whole go smoother. If anything, it benefits the both of us. My workday goes smoother, and you get a clear schedule to follow that I hope isn't too difficult to understand. If it is, please do tell me, and I'll see to it some changes get made. Oh, right. Before I say anything, here you go, ma'am. Here's your schedule for today. Yeah, it's another quaint packed day today. Hmm. Is something wrong? Well, it's just you seemed a little upset reading through the schedule. Did you have any plans outside of the company by any chance? Judging by that expression, I would say you do. Ma'am, as much as I want to see you happy during your work and on your breaks, I have to remind you that you're actually quite a bit behind schedule as of now. I am aware you are indeed allowed to take extended lunch breaks every now and then, but that break from two days ago was an hour longer than the usual time provided by the company. What work you're behind on? The, the work you've been working on for the past week, ma'am? You have been working on it, right? <sighs> this is going to be one terrifying question, but... Could you please show me your computer for a moment? Okay. Here and here. Oh my god. C can I ask you something? Well, what exactly have you been doing for the past week, ma'am? I am awaiting an answer. With all due respect, miss, as much as I enjoy working here, if you don't start working soon, my job will be something from the past. What could be so incredibly important that you start skipping work? You've started going out again? Th that's great to hear, miss. If you're happy, then that's good, but you really really shouldn't neglect your work because your love life kicked into first gear again. I I'm sorry if you found that rude, but please, just for a few days, could you focus on your work? Excellent. Thank you so much. I can help you plan when to do what works so you can have an easier time catching up. If all goes well, you should be caught up in... Four days or so? Ah, no more complaining. <laughs> I'll make you a cup of coffee. That ought to help you at least wake up. I'll be right back, ma'am. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. I had some trouble getting the new coffee machine to work properly. Well, 
I don't drink coffee myself, so I rarely use stuff like that. I just gotten used to the old machine, too. And then they decided to buy a more modern one. It makes me question where the budget goes in this company. Well, anyways, aside from that, I will send you your schedule through mail in about 10 minutes. So, for now, I will be leaving you alone, ma'am. Oh, actually, there is one more thing I have to tell you. Sleep well. Would you look at that? Who decided to wake up? <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. How was your nap? You must have been very tired from working all day. You just collapsed and fell asleep on your desk. I didn't want to be rude, so, you know, I just didn't wake you up. Well, I mean... At least, I stayed here ensuring your safety. I could have just left, then who knows what someone might have done then. Hm? Huh? What's the matter? Is something wrong? You can't seem to move. Huh. That's odd. Um, maybe you worked so hard you just don't feel like moving? Oh, wait, I think I know what the issue is. Yeah, yeah, it might just be the ropes I put around you, you know? <laughs> Seriously, how oblivious can you be? Take a look at yourself for just a second. I can grab you a mirror if you want to. But I don't think you need a mirror to see the ropes that are on your hands, right? There you go, now you're starting to piece this together. So, I am very curious, what do you think happened? Well, obviously there has to be an explanation for why you suddenly just passed out. Hmm, can't figure it out, huh? I've gotta say, I'm quite disappointed. I would expect my boss to be able to figure this out quite easily. I mean, at her job, she's supposed to, you know, solve way more difficult problems. But I guess that's what you get for not doing your job in exchange of just being with some weird person on a date, huh? Ma'am, you have to realize... I have a job I like, and a person I like. It just turns out that the person I like is you. So whenever you bring up that your love life has started to kick into gear again for the 17th time, I'm getting quite tired of that. Not only does it make me have to put more effort into making sure you stay on schedule, but honestly, it just breaks my heart. And you know, if you do that to your secretary, well, I mean, I am responsible for your actions here. So I should take responsibility and teach you a little lesson, shouldn't I? You know, I found something out recently. Well, actually, I found it out tonight. When the office becomes empty, well, all the doors on the outside lock automatically. It's not like someone has to close them on their own. And I've tested this before, don't ask me how I know this. But if you were to like, just an example, scream or make a loud noise, <laughs> guess what? Absolutely nobody would hear you. Isn't that interesting? You could shout and shout and shout again, and not a single soul would be any wiser of what's happening here. 
Oh, that scared look in your eyes is exactly why I did this. If you don't, well, do your actual job. Well, a little fear never hurt anyone, did it? I'm sure that could be an amazing motivator for you. Plus, the best thing of all, if you're here pretty much all the time, well, I mean, when are you going to find time to go, I don't know, date to people you've been so excited about? <laughs> so if anything, doesn't this benefit you greatly? It's a great way to finally stop giving other people the light of day. And you can start working efficiently again. And most importantly, I'll be here with you to support you in every little part of your life. Why would you need any other men? Hell, why would you need any other people when you have me? <laughs> oh, we'll have so much fun together, I promise. I can bring you food every day. Hell, I can stay with you here every night if you'd like. I'll make sure you never have to leave the office ever again. Then, you'll truly be mine. And mine alone. That sounds like a dream come true, doesn't it? Of course. I have to leave you every now and then. I have to make your meals after all. I need to make sure you have enough clothes and whatnot, so... Just promise me one thing. When I'm gone, you'll be a good girl, won't you? You'll just stay here and do work or relax, but you don't try to escape. Why would you? There's no reason for you to escape. After all, you're now together with me. Forever and ever.